properties of matter. Matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. And it's important for us to be able to describe matter using both physical and chemical properties. So when we look at the physical properties, definition of physical properties are those properties that can be observed without changing the identity of the object. So examples like color, size, density, melting point, or any other phase change point, and texture. So if you think about it, you can identify the color of something without changing its identity. You can measure its size and calculate its density without changing the identity of the object on the chemical level. The other side of that coin are chemical properties. And chemical properties are those properties that cannot be observed without changing the identity of the object. So examples include flammability, reactivity, heat of combustion, and toxicity. So if you think about it, you can't see if something is flammable or not without trying to set it on fire. And if it sets on fire, it's flammable and you've changed the identity of the object. Same thing with reactivity and, and toxicity. So if we go through these few examples, you have boiling point first and any phase change point, boiling point, melting point, uh, those are all physical. Smell, you can identify the smell of something without changing it, so that's physical as well. Flammability is always uh, chemical because, again, trying to set something on fire is going to identify whether or not it's flammable. Uh, concentration is the next example, and you can uh, physically measure the concentration of something without changing what it is. And then reactivity to acid is chemical. Anytime you see the word reactivity, that's a dead giveaway that it's a chemical property. Created using Powtoon.